How to make email newsletter in Canva with links. The first thing you want to do once on Canva, you're going to tap on the search bar and you're going to type in email newsletter. After you have done that, you'll be presented with over a thousand different newsletter templates that you can choose from. Now you can scroll across and you can select whichever one of these templates you like to use. Keep in mind any one of the templates that has a crown that says pro, that means you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. But there are numerous templates that you can use for completely free. Now let's say for example the email newsletter that I would like to use is this one. So I can select the newsletter then tap on customize this template. After selecting customize this template you could add in your own personal touches. For example, you could change the image. So I could go over to the left hand menu option, tap on elements. And then from there, for example, I'll type in yoga and I could change the image to any one of these pictures right here. So I could tap on photos and then I could just drag and replace it with a photo. So let's say for example, this one. After doing that, you could also add in your logo right there. Now to make it clickable, we could make the picture clickable by selecting the pic, then tapping on the three dots that says more, then tap on link, and from here you could paste in your website link. So let's say I were to do that, then tap on done. You can also make the text or button clickable. So we could select the button, then tap on the three dots, and from there you could tap on link and you could paste in the link again so you could paste in your website URL that you would like to redirect persons to. Now, once you have done that, all you'll need to do now, when you're sharing your email newsletter, you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner. And if you were to download it, you'll tap on download and you want to ensure that you download it as a PDF. By doing this, when persons receive their PDF in their email, they'll be able to click on the link. So for example, if I were to tap on download right here, and if I were to open it, they'll be receiving a PDF just like this. And once they click on the picture, they'll be redirected to a link as you can see right there. Or if they were to click on the button, they'll be redirected to a link. Another thing that you could also do instead of sharing your email newsletter as a PDF, you could embed it. So we could tap on share in the top right hand corner, tap on see all. Then from there, you could tap on embed. After selecting embed, you could tap on embed once more and you could select the smart embed link or the HTML embed code. The smart embed link will, for example, allow you to show any changes that you make on your email newsletter automatically. But most of the time, you'll only be able to share the HTML embed code. So for example, let's say I wanted to share this on Beehive. I could copy it, then I could go into Beehive and this is an example that I had done earlier. All you need to do once in Beehive, you could tap on the plus. And from there, you could scroll down and then select HTML snippet. And this is where you'll paste in your code. After doing that, we could tap on preview. And you can see how it looks. And if I were to select preview in the top right hand corner. So once they receive this newsletter. If they were to tap on the picture, you can see that they are redirected to a page and the concept would be the same if they were to tap on a button. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button.